Hello Year 2, it's lovely to be back with you. Hello to all of those children who are working hard at home and hello too to all of those children who are working hard in school. Well, I'm really looking forward to today's lesson because I love teaching you guys and I'm really sorry that I'm not in everybody's house and I'm not in everybody's classroom and then I can see you face to face. Well, can you remember the story from last week? And I think it was Miss Buckley who told you the story. Here's a picture that says, Jesus loves everyone, especially you guys, especially children. Can you remember what happened in the story? How the mums were so excited to take their children to see Jesus. And when they got there, one of the disciples said, no, Jesus is far too busy to see any children. But that wasn't true, was it? Jesus doesn't feel like that. Jesus didn't feel like that in the story either. Jesus said, let the children come to me. Well, we're going to be thinking about being friends of Jesus a little bit more today. And we're going to be thinking about some of the stories when Jesus shows that he's a friend to everyone and it doesn't matter who they are or what they look like, Jesus is a friend. So here, let's see, let's have a starter activity to get our RE brains working again. Think back to year one. Can you remember what Jesus' special friends were called. There were 12 of them and we learned about when Jesus first met the fishermen. Mm, who were they? Let's see. Well, it was the disciples. Did you get the right answer? Did you say disciples? Well, if you did, you are a real clever clogs. Well done you. Well, here's another tricky one. And some of your parents or nuns and granddads or big brothers and sisters might be able to help you with this one. I wonder if you can remember the names of any of the 12 disciples. Let me give you some clues. A little bit further along Warrington Road, there are two more churches. And both of those churches have got the names of Jesus' disciples. Hmm, wonder who they are. Can you think of anybody else? Jesus made special friends with some fishermen and one of the fishermen was, uh, his name began with P -p -p -p. What could it be? Mm. Pause the video while you rack your brains and perhaps you could write down some of the names you can think of. Next, you can have a look at this clip on YouTube and listen to a song. It's got all the names of the disciples in it. I hope you enjoy listening to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that song, boys and girls. And now take a look at my special bag. Unfortunately, I've not got my bag at home, so we'll have to make do with our imaginations instead. Here's a bag a bit like my bag. What sort of bag is it? Can you remember? Yes, it's a messenger bag with messages inside it. And you can probably tell your parents or your carers and grandparents that it's the messenger bag with messages from God. So the book that I've got inside my bag is just like your beginner's Bible. And down in the corner over here, I've got Jesus as well. And remember, the bag's got a cross on the front to remind us that the stories are from the New Testament. 
But there's somebody with a bad hand. Something is wrong. That hand is injured. And look, I've got some bandages too. Hmm, I wonder what the story today could be. It's definitely about friendship and it's definitely about Jesus. Well, today we're going to be looking at the story of Jesus when he healed the 10 lepers. And my friend here called Joe is going to tell you the story. So you can click on the link there and Joe will tell you all about the story. She's even got a story bag, but you'll be able to see it is not as good as my bag. I hope you enjoy the story. I hope you liked that story. I wonder if you've heard it before. I wonder how Jesus felt when those lepers came to him. Leprosy was such a terrible disease. Nobody wanted to go anywhere near anybody who had leprosy. It was painful. It was sore. Oh, it was really a horrible disease and it didn't have any cure at the time. So if you got leprosy, you had to get out of your house, get out of your family, get out of your village. Oh, life was really tough for those people. So can you imagine how they felt when they saw Jesus and Jesus made them better? Wow, that must have been amazing. And what about that only one leper came back to say thank you to God, to say thank you to Jesus? Oh dear, I'm sure all of you will have remembered to say thank you. Can you imagine now that you're one of the poor lepers that Jesus healed? I'd like you to write a thank you letter to Jesus. And don't forget to tell him how your life is so much better now, now that you can see your family, now that you can see your mum and your dad and your brothers and your sisters, and you can enjoy being back in the village with everybody else. Oh, I can't wait to see your lovely, lovely letters. I've put a template on, the, on Teams for you. And... Don't worry if you're at home and you've not got a printer to print it off because you can write your thank you letter in on any piece of paper. I would love to see it. And I'd really love to see some nice illustrations too. Perhaps you want to draw one of the pictures from the story. That would be amazing. So wonderful year twos. Mrs. Greaves signing off blowing your kisses. Love you all and I hope you stay very, very safe at home and at school and you enjoy learning. I'm looking forward to seeing you again this time next week. Bye everybody!